As you just heard, some people have the gift of song, while others don't. <laughs> and right now, How's we're actually going to give you an inside look at how vocal cords work when it comes to singing. And with us to do that is Dr. Sunil Verma from the University of California, Irvine, ear, nose, and throat specialist and voice specialist, and his patient, Kristen, a professional singer who's graciously allowed us to look at those beautiful vocal cords of yours. Welcome to both of you. Great to have you. And so how you're going to do that, Dr. Verma, is with the aid of a flexible laryngoscopy, correct? Yeah, so what we have here is a, a small camera. It's just like a, a digital camera that you have at home, hooked to the end of a, almost like a piece of spaghetti. So what we'll be doing is introducing this through your nose and taking a look at the back of your nose, your throat, and even your voice box. Did you number up first yes. with a little bit of, okay, yeah, so, so she'll be comfortable? And absolutely. So I'll go ahead and place the camera through your nose. Go ahead and lean forward for me. So everybody out there is going to be able to see you, so you're passing this through the lower yeah. part of her nasal cavity, correct? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So see some nasal hairs. Yeah, so there we go. This is her you nasal see cavity. Some, see the septum, right? Yeah, so this is the wall, then... of her sep the wall in the nose. So go ahead and say, pet the puppy. Pet the puppy. And say, ka, ka. Ka, ka. So that's her palate there, opposing the backside of her nose. I'm just sniffing through your nose. And, there's and there, her. you saw base of tongue, right? Yes. And now you're looking at that gorgeous voice box of Kristen's. Yeah, so go ahead and swallow for me a little bit, if you don't mind. Good. And one more time. So that we can see that when she swallows, that protective me mechanism, epiglottis, comes up so nothing goes into the, uh, the trachea, the windpipe, correct? So, yeah, so the bottom of the screen is actually the front of her throat, so you see those two white structures there. Those are her vocal cords, believe it or not. And so uh, go ahead and just hold out a, go ahead and sing an E for me, if you don't mind. E. Look at that. Great, and do that again. E. So you see there, her vocal cords are coming together and vibrating uh, with one next to the other. As she's pushing that air through those two vocal cords because of the vibration and that wonderful Chris, I know you tongue. can't see it, but your vocal cords look good. <laughs> Yeah, they look they absolutely really good. perfect. How about something lower? Yeah. And now go from, go from low to high, if you don't mind. So you can see as she hits different notes, the vocal cords stretch, just like strings on a violin or on a that. guitar. Go ahead and hit the highest note you can. Why Kristen is a good singer, and if you looked at our vocal cords, they'd they probably wouldn't. move back and forth like this real sluggishly, <laughs> and you wouldn't hear us hitting any of those notes. That's, it's fascinating. Yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And, and there's a difference between men and women. There's a reason why men have lower voices. Typically, our vocal cords, these, these rubber bands represent vocal cords, are much longer, anywhere from 17 to 25 millimeters, right? Where in the case of a woman, 10 to 17 millimeters, and for that reason, they vibrate quicker. Absolutely. What's interesting is that um, just that small difference in size, I mean, we're talking less than a centimeter, makes a man's voice, a male's voice, and a female's voice completely different. And, and so that's, that's quite remarkable. And to put it in perspective, normal speech, about two, 200 vibrations per, per second. second. So indeed. And then when, she hit, when Kristen hits one of these high notes, She's hitting up to 250, 300, even 400 times a second. So think about that many times of two things vibrating together. It's, it's just absolutely amazing. So, so Drew and I... What, what's that, like 50 no. times? You're actually doing pretty well yourselves there. You guys, I think you have a future. I think I hurt my ears. <laughs> <laughs> and just to clarify for everyone, when we're talking about the vocal cords, the segment we just did, we're talking about the larynx. The vocal cords are part of the larynx, so it's all the same thing, just to not, I don't want people to be confused.